Hey guys, what is up? And welcome back to another episode of Phoenix Rare Ace Attorney Trials and Tribulations. In the last episode, we found out a lot of stuff. We found out that Pearl has psych locks as to what she was doing the night of the murder and where wherever the heck she was. We found out that Iris's mother is Morgan Fay and her twin sister is Dahlia Hawthorne and that they were taken away by, Dahl by Dahlia's father, the jeweler, a jeweler. And Morgan Fay had Pearl after that in order to take over the main family line. Uh, and then we found out that, um, uh, I guess Misty Faye's, Misty Faye's cane that she always carried around is actually a sword. So that's pretty crazy. I think we're going to go into the police records room now to go check out, uh, whatever happened with Dahlia Hawthorne. So yeah, let's go do that. <clears throat> you think we can break Iris's psych lock right now? Okay, here we go. Okay, it's just three. We're good. I think it's time you told me the truth about what you were doing on that night. You said you were in your room at Hasakura Temple the entire time. Do you still claim that to be the truth? Yes, that's where I was. Iris, I believe you're innocent. That's why I want to believe what you're telling me too. But I can't. Because this person saw you somewhere else on the night of the murder. I'm talking about Sister Bikini, of course. Sister Bikini. Her testimony in court today was very clear. That night I was helping an acolyte with her training in the Inner Temple, but... Well, as you can see, my bag likes to act up. Violently. So I left Iris to help the acolyte and return to Hasakura Temple. Sister Bikini didn't just see you. She spoke with you. You two talked about Maya's training that night. So you see, Iris... You were there at the Inner Temple on the night of the murder. That's very impressive, Mr. Wright. The Acolyte's actual training was due to start after 10 o'clock that night. I left the main hall early so I wouldn't be late. What time was that? Let me see. It takes about 20 minutes to walk between the main hall and the Inner Temple, so I would have left at about 9.40 p.m., I think. I'm sorry, Iris, but lying just doesn't suit you. Huh? Now, you say you left the main hall at 9.40pm, but that doesn't add up with this. With what? Shit. Fuck. Oh no. Oh wait, no, she was supposed to... She was supposed to ring, like, the bell. You yourself testified to the contrary, don't you remember? You said you rang the lights out bell at 10 o'clock that night. Uh. Plus, only moments before you rang that bell. You were seen at the main hall by the most reliable witness I have. Who's that? Me. Mr. Wright. We even spoke a little that evening. That's when you gave me this. Surely you haven't forgotten. N no that's right. I remember. And that brings us to another puzzling fact, Iris. At 10 o'clock on the night of the murder, you were seen in two different places at the same time. It's time you told me exactly what's been going on, Iris. So far, I've managed to prove two things. First, on the night of the incident, you were at the Inner Temple. And second, at the exact same time, you were ringing the bell at Hasakura Temple. There's only one possible explanation for this apparent impossibility. On the night of the incident, you were seen in two different places at the same time. Which means, there must have been two of you. I can't think of any other explanation, Iris. B but that's crazy! How could that be? There's only one of me! It's impossible! Impossible? I wonder. The way you're trembling certainly seems to suggest otherwise. Mm. You're seriously trying to suggest there's more than one of me? Then show me the evidence! Show me something that proves there is more than one of me! Dahlia? I have a firm grasp of the situation now, Iris. You have a sister, don't you? A twin sister, perhaps. Uh. That's right. Dahlia Hawthorne, a woman I know only too well. I had no idea you knew of her. Very impressive, Mr. Wright. But she's no longer... Yes, I know. Her sentence was carried out recently, wasn't it? I'm sorry. Thank you. There's no need to explain now, is there, Iris? This second you who was here at the temple on the night of the murder. It was your twin sister, Dahlia Hawthorne. B 
But you just said it yourself a second ago. My sister's dead. Have you forgotten that? Have you forgotten this, Iris? There is a channeling dojo. This is a channeling dojo, a training ground of the Kurain channeling technique. That night, someone channeled Dahlia's spirit, and you knew about it. And that's the secret you've been trying to hide from me. I... I was in my room in the main hall that night. As soon as I heard that I'd been spotted at the Inner Temple, I knew. I knew it was my sister. Dahlia, the other half of me who passed away last month. Just as I suspected. The iris that Sister Bikini saw at the Inner Temple on the night of the murder. It was Dahlia Hawthorne. Why didn't you tell me this before? Because... Because my sister always does the right thing. Excuse me? Because I mustn't get in the way of what she's trying to do. I already betrayed her once before. I can't do it again. You betrayed her? What do you mean? That's why I... I have to accept I may be found guilty. It's the only way. What is she talking about? You know about it, don't you, Mr. Wright? About the fake kidnapping that took place here on Eagle Mountain 11 years ago? <laughs> that was the start of it all. It twisted her entire destiny. She started to commit crime after crime, and in the end, she... she lost her life. It's all because... I betrayed her. How did you betray her, Iris? It was no coincidence that Eagle Mountain is where the exchange was to take place. After all, I... I helped plan the whole thing. What? But I got scared, so I ran away. What are you talking about? Why would you help her? Stealing two million dollars from your own father, that's awful! But I promised. I promised that I'd help. And... She didn't do it for the money. Huh? It was revenge on our father. R revenge? What do you mean by revenge? He was a hideous man. He threw our mother away and then sent her to hell. Her mother? She must be talking about Morgan Fay. Our mother was the eldest daughter of the main branch family, of the Fay family. The main family had a lot of influence in many business and political circles at the time. As the eldest daughter, our mother was set to inherit all of that as the next master. That's the reason our father married our mother in the first place, for power. But his plan backfired. Because our mother's sister took it all from her. She took over as the master of Kurain. That would be Misty Fay, Maya's mother. But before long, the credibility of the Kurain tradition hit rock bottom. The new master, Misty Fay, made a terrible mistake. It was during the investigation of the DL6 incident. After that happened, our father took me and my, sis and my twin sister away, leaving our mother and our home behind. He hated the place. He said it was a hick dive, and, there was and he had no reason to stay there. That's when you came here to Kazakura Temple? Yes. The woman my father took as his next wife already had a daughter, Valerie. I... I had no place in his new family, you see. Oh. And I haven't seen my mother once since then. Having the master seat stolen from her, and being rejected by her own family, I've heard she's been very battered, spiritually and emotionally. I think I'm finally beginning to see how the pieces fit together. I have asked her everything I can in my capacity as a prosecutor. This incident. Everything related to it goes back to the history of the Fey clan. That's what it looks like. Iris, there's just one more thing I want you to tell me. What is it? During the incident in which your sister, Dahlia Hawthorne, poisoned a lawyer, she began relations with a certain college student in order to hide the evidence. That college student. Have you heard anything about him? Well, I did hear one thing. She said she hated his guts. I see. Thank you for your help. You're welcome. Hurry up, Phoenix Wright! There is still much to investigate. Leave these locks to me. I'll open them for you, I promise. Thank you. I suppose I better continue my investigation. 
There's still one giant secret left to unlock. Pearl's a psych-lock. Alright, Pearl, you're gonna tell us the truth. You're gonna tell us the truth right now. Let's go. Suspension bridge. Heavenly Hall. February 9th, Heavenly Hall. Look at that. They really did make a fire right in front of the shack. Oh, Mr. Nick. Ha, <laughs> you're too late, Nick. If you came here for one of our potatoes, we've already polished them off. I think I've pretty much got all the evidence I need. Now I just need to find out what Pearls was hiding. Anything else to talk to her about? Nope, just the Cyclock. Let's go. Alright, Pearls, nothing to hide. Let's go. After dinner on the night of the murder, you were supposed to be in Elise and Im's room, reading a book together, correct? Yes! I was so happy when she invited me. But... I didn't go in the end. You didn't go? No. There was somewhere else I had to go instead. I was so worried. I... I had to, uh, I didn't... I don't know what that said. I didn't know what to do with myself. I was so nervous. So Pearls never went back to Miss... No... no the, 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 so Pearls never went to Mr. Nim's room. Because she was too worried about something or someone else. Pearls. On the night of the murder, you went to this place, didn't you? You went here, didn't you, Pearls? Looks like she's still not gonna open up to me. This is where you went because you were so wor worried, right? Then the next question is, who or what were you so worried about? Now, I'm gonna take a guess and you can tell me if I'm right or wrong, okay? Y you mean you know? If I'm right, will you tell me the whole truth? Uh, okay. You went to this place for one very simple reason, and that is this. It's obvious what you were so worried about, Pearls. It was Maya, wasn't it? Ah! You knew the training Maya was undertaking was dangerous. After all, it was the special course. I signed up for your special course. Well, my, 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 quite brave of you considering how cold it is. Young people can be so reckless with their health. Don't blame me if you become one with those you channel. <laughs> Sister Bikini scared you with what she said, didn't she? And because it was you who introduced Hasekura Temple to Maya in the first place, you felt responsible, didn't you? Thinking about what could happen to Mystic Maya made me more and more worried. I couldn't sit still at all. That's why I decided to go and find out how she was doing at the Inner Temple. Then we're clear now that you went to the Inner Temple that night, Pearls. What's not clear is what happened after that. About what time was it when you headed to over to the Inner Temple? Um, it was probably around 9.30 when I left the main hall. I heard the real training was supposed to start at 10. I wanted to get there before it started. But there was so much snow, so I didn't get there until after 10 o'clock. Until after 10? How did you know what time it was? Because I heard the bell ringing for lights out. She heard the lights out bell? The Hasakura Temple's bell is pretty small though, isn't it? You must have really- you must have really good hearing. I- I was really trying to pick up the sound of that bell, that's all. I didn't want to miss it. That would be terrible. She was trying to hear the bell? Tell me, Pearls. Why were you so worried about hearing that bell? Huh? Oh, I- um- I think I know why. The reason you were so worried about that bell was because of this. Does this thing say anything about that? Yes, okay. You were given some instructions to follow for that night, weren't you? I presume you recognize these pieces of paper. Ah! Where did you- In the incinerator at the inner temple. Pearls. You were following the instructions in this letter that night, weren't you? That's why you couldn't afford to miss the sound of the lights out bell. I- I'm speechless, Mr. Nick! You're amazing! These instructions that were found in the incinerator. I believe they were written for you, Pearls. For me? As you can see, a large portion has been burnt. 
but the last section is still fairly legible. As soon as you hear the lights out bell, you must channel her spirit. Who was it, Pearls? Whose spirit were you supposed to be channeling? <sighs> Taking into account the author of the note and their purpose for writing it, whose spirit would Pearls have been trying to channel? Don't overthink it, Phoenix. It's pretty obvious who Pearls was supposed to channel. The person you were trying to channel that night, Pearls, was... It was Dahlia Hawthorne, wasn't it? That was the name of that was in the leather. Ah! It's just as I suspected. It wasn't Iris whose sister Bikini met at the Inner Temple that night. It was Dahlia Hawthorne. Do you know anything about her, Pearls? Do you know what kind of a woman Dahlia Hawthorne was? Um, no. I've never heard of anyone by that name before reading those instructions. I thought so. Pearls doesn't have a clue. She doesn't know that Dahlia is her sister. About the instructions in the letter I found, Pearls. Who wrote them? Um... Whoever it was asked you to channel the spirit of someone you've never heard of. You must have quite a lot of respect for them. After all, you followed their instructions without question. So here's my question. Who wrote this set of instructions for you to follow? Oops. Ah. Uh. Pearls, I have to wonder about something. You didn't have any idea what these instructions meant, did you? <laughs> but you followed them to the letter regardless. Why? Because it was your own mother who asked you, that's why. How did you- I figured it out. The person who wrote you this letter was your own mother, Morgan Fay. Uh, uh... All right, Pearls, it's time you started telling me the truth. Why is she holding back from me? I don't like this. Don't underestimate me just because I'm a child! Huh? If you're trying to say I follow these instructions, I'd like to see some proof! What? Because I... I don't think you have any! Ugh. She'd say anything rather than admit to carrying out those instructions. I guess I'll have to produce some more evidence then. One more thing should do it. Alright, Pearls. We both know someone carried out these instructions on the night of the murder. But you're right. There's no evidence that proves it was you. I, I knew it! However, I do know that whoever did it was a child. Huh? How do you know that? Oops. It couldn't have been an adult. No adult would have made a simple mistake like that. A, a simple mistake? What do you mean? I'm sure you thought you were carefully following the instructions you'd been given, but you misunderstood some of the words, and this is the evidence that proves it. It was you who splattered gravy on this hanging scroll, wasn't it? Ah! What? Why would I do something like that? Do you remember what was written in that letter? Gravely roast the master in the fires of Hades and bring our vengeance to fruition. But you didn't know how to read the words gravely and roast, among others, right? How do you know that? Remember the conversation you had with Miss Denim on the night of the murder? Perhaps we can read some books together. Really? To. Um, I'm not very good at reading. <laughs> well then, would you like to practice reading with me? Um, Miss Elise, so, for example, how do you read this? It says, gravely. That's kind of a tough word. Sure, Miss Denim thought you knew- taught you how to read gravely and roast, but what she didn't teach you is what they meant. Gravely sounded like gravy to me, and the only roast I could think of was the food. That's why you did it. That's why you covered the picture of the master in gravy from that night's pot roast. To be honest, I did think it was a bit strange. I guess I really did get the wrong idea. Just a tiny bit. I... I really am useless. I didn't even manage to burn the letter properly as my mother had asked of me. Such a simple thing, and I couldn't even do it right. Oh, Pearl. I, after dinner that night, I did go to the inner temple with a pot full of the leftover gravy. The gravy? I saw the picture on the hanging scroll near the sacred cavern. I was sure it was the master of Kurain like it said on the letter. 
I see. And then? Well, it was already way past ten when I got there because of all the snow, and so I went to the inner temple guest area. The guest area? Yes. I thought I could wait there until the training was over. Why didn't you just go to the training hall? Because Mystic Maya's main training had already started and I couldn't interrupt it. So I just stayed where I was and prayed for her to get through it. But then, I... <laughs> Pearls, did you fall asleep? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. I just couldn't help it. Hey, don't worry about it, Pearl. Who cares if you fell asleep? I fell asleep waiting for Iris, too. It happens. Anyway, then you found yourself trapped at the inner temple? Yes. When I woke up, it was morning. I tried not to cry, but Dusky Bridge wasn't there anymore and no one else was in the training hall. I thought everyone had left me because I overslept. I threw the letter into the incinerator and then I heated up the leftover gravy and... Hmm. And let off some steam by chucking the gravy on the scroll while you cried. It must have been pretty scary for you, Pearl. I know what it's like. Nick used to leave me behind when I fell asleep at school, too. Don't equate something so trivial with her experience, Larry. It was written right in my mother's letter. It said, As soon as you hear the lights out bell, you must channel her spirit. I was on my way over to the inner temple when I heard the bell ring. So you channeled Dahlia Hawthorne's spirit? No. I tried, but I couldn't do it. You couldn't do it? I've never failed at channeling someone, and this is the first time it's happened. I tried and tried and I tried. Yesterday, this morning, the whole time. But I just couldn't do it. Don't let it get you down, Pearl. It'll all work out. If you want, I'll come flying through the sky for you. Whoa, it's just like that. So she never managed to channel the spirit. Is that why you think your spiritual powers are gone? Yes, I... I don't know what to do. Isn't there any other explanation for why you couldn't channel a spirit? I suppose there's one other possibility. It's not very likely, though. Could you please tell me what it is anyway? It could happen if someone else was already channeling the same spirit. Someone else? What do you mean? Well, there's only one of each spirit, right? Yep, it's like dating a girl, Nick. You can't see a hot chick if she's already taken. Then that would mean one on, on the night of the murder. Someone else channeled her spirit before Pearls could. Someone else channeled the spirit of Dahlia Hawthorne. I'm a failure. I couldn't even grant my mother's final wish. Her final wish? Yes, this letter. This is my last wish, she said. So make sure you follow the instructions carefully. Hmm, this letter. I definitely need to find out more about it. My mother has gone to a place called a penitentiary. Yeah, I know, Pearls. I visit her every month. And last month she told me... The time we've been waiting for has come, Pearl. There's something I need you to do for me. I hid a letter for you at our home before they brought me here. I want you to read it, and do exactly what it says. It's for the good of the Fey Clan, my angel. You'll be doing a great thing. Now, listen carefully, and I'll tell you where the letter's hidden. My mother is always nice to me. I love her very much. Oh, no. Yeah, moms will do anything for their kids, right? She said it was for the good of the Fey Clan, so I knew I had to help her. I mean, Mystic Maya is part of the Fae Clan, so it had to be good for her, too. That's right, is it, Mr. Nick? I... I guess so, yeah. There was a picture with her letter, too. A picture? A Miss Dahlia Hawthorne. Usually a picture is enough to channel someone's spirit, but this time... Pretty weird, huh? Like Larry knows anything about this stuff. There's something else that was strange about my mother's letter. The seal on it was broken, as if someone had already opened it once before. That sure is pretty strange. Someone had opened it already? Hmm. Thanks, Pearl. You really helped me out. You're very welcome. My mother is watching over us, so I'm sure Mystic Maya will be alright. Look at that innocent smile on her face. What am I supposed to say to her? Godot. Finally figured it out, have you, Trite? You finally realized how terrible of a crime being painfully oblivious is. G Godot! The entrance to the Sacred Cavern looks like a freaking puzzle workshop. 
I guess he's talking about Iris and the lockbreaking effort. But it's all a waste of time. Why do you say that? Because Maya Faye isn't coming back. What? You don't know what you're talking about! How can you say something like that? It was your job to protect her, Trite. Just like it was your job to protect Mia Faye. Two sisters, caught up in the worst circumstances. I... I realize that, but... And you were the only one who was by their sides. You were the only one who could have saved them. But I didn't know anything about what was going on! Ha! <laughs> what did I just say, Trite? Being oblivious is a heinous crime in itself. <sighs> tomorrow. We'll settle everything in court tomorrow, once and for all. M Mr. Nick? Is... is what that man sent just, just sent true? It'll be alright, Pearls. I'm sure Maya's alive. You'll see for yourself tomorrow. I... yeah! That's right! I know I can trust you, Mr. Nick! My dear Pearl, you've done so well, my child, my Pearl. It's better that you don't know. I knew this day would come for you. The blood of the main family is no more. Now you, you are to take the place at the head of the Fey clan. My last great wish. It seems I was just in time. Was this whole thing caused by Morgan Fay? Oh my god! I'm gonna kill her. I mean, I, I would actually I would actually not like to kill her. Um, but we're gonna get her. We're gonna get her for all she's done. And now we're at the final trial. Holy crap! This has been such a long and winding case. It's oh god. But, here we go, into the last trial. That's it for this episode. Roll the end card. Objection! You haven't hit like and subscribe yet. Hold it! You forgot to ring the bell to get notified whenever I upload. Take that! Click here to watch more of my videos. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.